So when we take all these elements together, the quantitative mechanical side of it with the qualitative side of it, we can see that it's probably good, a good idea as, as, it, as it pertains to WinPAC that we should probably make some adjustments on the calculated value of the uh, cost of capital value, which was 2.3%. It's a pretty low value. Um, it's a pretty low value um, for a company. And uh, there's other factors, I think, that go into, that, into the company's risk profile that should uh, make us uh, adjust that value. So when we look at WinPAC, you know, the big thing that jumps off is the company has no debt. So it's pretty much 100% uh, financed through equity. And so as a result, um, from a risk factor percent, I would think that uh, it's much higher. It's, 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 a, it's a lot higher than 2.3%. Uh, so in that sense, the expectations of a higher return should be there. Um, another factor also is the business appears to be in a less risky kind of industry. Um, you know, package materials. If anything, it's maybe a cyclical industry, depending on if companies are selling more products and services, they probably need more packaging materials. So it's very much uh, tied to the ebbs and flows of the overall um, economy. Um, and, uh, and it seems like it's less likely because of that. It's, it seems like it's a very stable company. The stock prices, as we said, the, the beta value is only 0.3. So it's not a very volatile company on, on, the, on the other side. So this is a company with a lot of equity and a lot of, in a pretty stable kind of run-of-the-mill kind of business. So when I factor, and again, it comes down to basic, it's just judgment. So when I looked at all these factors together, I decided to, instead of going with the 2.3%, I decided to, instead of going 2.3, I decided to factor, because of the company's high, uh, predominantly uh, equity financing thing, I increased their cost, I, I, I bumped up the overall cost of capital for them to, to more of a 6 to 8% range. And again, this is my interpretation. So you don't have to agree with this. It's just my size up, my uh, interpretation. Uh, you know, if you have a different opinion, I would love to hear it. Feel free to email me, and I, you know, we can we can email a nice convert. We can have a nice convo on uh, on that. But I'm just wanting to tell you. I just wanted to kind of show you kind of sort of the mind map, uh, the thinking around it. That um, that this whole concept of, of understanding a cost of capital and the risk profile it's very subjective. Um, your interpretation of whether a company is risky is going to be different than my interpretation. So I'm pr right here. I'm just basically presenting you my interpretation of it, and I'm saying, you know what? It's probably a six to eight percent uh, return that would be a reasonable expectation if I were to invest in this company, um, which, in the grand scheme of things, is actually still pretty, not very, uh, not very risky. It's very low risk in that sense. Um, and ultimately, you know, your interpretation of the risk profile and my interpretation of the risk profile are, you know, are one thing. At the end of the day, the market is going to decide, um, ultimately, um, through the pricing of its stock, how um, risky the company is.